is up everybody it's cat bricks and i'm back with another random figure review friday and this one is a special one because this week we're celebrating the 40th anniversary of the lego minifigure quite an accomplishment 40 years ago this week the classic police officer was released in that in set 600 and this is such an amazing thing I think it's been 40 years. Of course, I wasn't alive back then, but you know. Yeah, alright. If you like this series, make sure to show your support for it. And I'll keep making them as long as you like them. So, the theme this week is the first week I'm going to do a theme. Is that these are all much older figures. So, this one's probably the newest one from 2010. The Lego Atlantis figure i do not know the name i'm sorry for you fans of the theme but yes this is but this is a very nicely detailed figure it's the only atlantis figure i have and here's a look at him without his helmet on it's a nice helmet actually and here's a look at the back and the secondary figure here this should give you some better a better look at the details. Yeah, there's a really nice harpoon accessory. And there's some nice detail on those legs. And the helmet has very nice detail too. Next up is a simple figure. It's the leg it's a Lego SpongeBob figure. And this one has this big wide open grin. The only it has a, a unique piece for the body and head is only for this figure. No back print on this, but you know. It's, it only has print right here. Make it a very simple figure. But still a good figure. And yeah, it has a little square print. The top of the square print. Pants print right there. Sorry that I said it wrong, but yes. It's a good figure. And if you were wondering, there is absolutely no print on either side of this torso. So it's just printing right here, and it, it's still a good print. A nice, a nice big grin, like you're doing something mis mischievous. This third figure is the the rebel, like the rebel soldier. The, each of the guys that appeared in at, at the beginning of episode, episode four, and at the very end of Rogue One, because those two scenes are right after each other. But yeah, this is an older one, as you can tell by the simpler torso print and the no pupiled eyes. And I'm just going to take the helmet off, show you the rest of that face print. I know that this face was definitely used in other sets for other figures. No back print either. But just a very nice simple torso print. And it comes with a blaster. I'm pretty sure it came with a blaster. And I was going with this nice helmet with it. it. has this little. It has like the visor piece for helmets in black. Which is a very unique way of using the piece. And what you do is you put it right on to here. Cool. Sorry about that. I rewind. I just put it on. I was trying to put it on upside down. But yeah. Very good figure. And yeah, now this last figure is definitely by far the oldest on this list. And once you know, and well, actually, I just want to give this disclaimer: this figure is not in perfect condition because of how old it is. There, are, it had to use stickers on the torso. What well, the back sticker is not in very good condition. So I just want to let you know that. But this figure is by far the oldest on this list. And easily the oldest figure ever. Ooh. Uh, uh, sorry about that, everyone. Apparently, when I put the figure onto the stand, the sticker from the back came off. Stuck to my hand. But yes, this is the first minifigure ever made. The classic. Peace officer.
Do you see how old it is? It's from 1978. It's on the perfect condition. And this is not the new one. Like in the previous series. This is the original one. You can tell. By that back print. You can see it's not a print. It's a, it's a sticker. And it is starting to peel and it ripped. Which is just hinting at the fact that, you know, it's really old and not in the best condition. But, yeah, there's no print on the torso because it's a sticker. The front's in better condition, which is a good thing because you're normally going to be looking at the front. And it has that classic police head. And, I mean, the generic head, not just. But yeah, if you look at the head, though, it does have a slightly, a slightly different mold. There's no, like, indent. And also, this is an older one, too, because you can see there's, there's, like, holes in the top. This is the older one. They actually recently changed it, so it's not, it doesn't have holes, but this is the, the oldest head style. I think the head's actually been around since 1975, but the rest of it wasn't until 1978. And this is, truly, this figure is, this, this, oh, this week is the birthday of this figure. And it's pretty fitting that I am showing this figure for this week. For this week's um, Random Figure Review Friday. Very good. Sorry, that was the art boon I was putting back on, but yeah. I'm sorry that it's not in the best condition, but I didn't even know I had this till two years ago. And I found it like this. And like an, an old bit of Legos. At first, I didn't even know that this was the first figure ever. But, you know. I, this was before I even knew that figures ever had stickers. So, it was a far, it was far back. But, yeah. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, subscribe. And if, if you have any suggestions for a theme of figures I should do. Like, maybe only Star Wars or... I have a couple Spongebob's, I don't know if I have four unique ones. Oh yeah, I do, actually. And if you want to see another one of these with older figures in the future, comment below. But yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed, and see you guys next time. And if you enjoyed, like and subscribe. There's, when, when you guys support the videos, it lets me know that you like it, so. See you guys next week. Well, one of these. There's going to be another video soon. Because this week is when I have the most videos. So stay tuned for more videos. And more.